This is the Royal Kludge RK918. Let's talk about this keyboard. As far as this keyboard goes, it retails normally for $50. I was able to purchase it on Amazon for $45. And if you are interested in this keyboard at any point, you can click my kit link down below, which is an affiliate link and uh, purchase this for yourself. With that being said, this keyboard does only come with blue, brown and red switches. As far as my knowledge, it's not hot swappable switches, but you can use custom keycaps on this keyboard. I've unboxed this keyboard on my live stream in order to put my wife's custom keycaps on it. And inside the box, you obviously get the keyboard, you get a couple pamphlets from the company, and you get a keycap puller. The reason why I got this keyboard was because I wanted to put custom keycaps on her, my wife's keyboard. And the old keyboard that she was using was a Logitech G512 carbine from Walmart that had brown switches, hence why both keyboards are brown switches, um, because that's the switches that she prefers and likes since she had used that keyboard for so long. But trying to put custom keycaps on that keyboard, there was a problem with spacing between the actual space bar uh, keycap being put on and the alt keys being put on it either side. There was not enough space between both. So when it comes to a keyboard, my wife's not too particular about it. She just wants a full size keyboard to be able to do her everyday task on a computer since she does not game. So with that in mind, I wanted to find something that still had that slim form factor that I was able to put custom keycaps on. And on top of that, was able to you know have a little bit of RGB lighting for her because I'm currently trying to upgrade her setup. For her setup, it works fine. She likes the, the keyboard and uh, for everyday tasks and everything. And for me, I've personally used it. It's okay for everyday tasks, but if you're gonna try to game or do anything like that, my personal preference, I would say don't use this keyboard for that. Better off going for maybe a 75% or 60% or keyboard, something that's smaller, um, just so you have that mouse space. Again, overall, the keyboard's built quality is somewhat good. I noticed when I unboxed my wife's keyboard that there is a weird warping of the keyboard just like tilting the keyboard a little bit and looking at the light some of the keys look like they're used but yeah there you go you can kind of see right there those little smudges i haven't touched this keyboard at all like i literally just took it out of the amazon box and i was like i'm gonna un unbox this on stream the keyboard's not straight either there's like a slight bend to it like almost fish fish eye i i don't know if you could tell but there is a bend in the keyboard like straight up i'm having it leveled and I can see like in the middle of the keyboard, there's a bend about it. Um, but it just seemed like it was put together and it was kind of warped, but it still lays flat. There's no wobble or anything. It does have uh, feet on the back that kick up or whatever to give you that ergonomic feeling. Now, the thing about this keyboard that they're boasting is the side lamp, which is another LED strip or of RGB around the whole entire keyboard. Now there's 18 different modes for the RGB on the keyboard with eight monochromatic RGB settings. Speaking of RGB, that leads me to the first con of this keyboard. The combination from the manufacturer's website and the pamphlet that you get in the box itself is utterly confusing. It makes no sense why you have a keyboard this big with 108 keys and you still only use maybe four buttons of those to cycle through RGB uh, settings on the keyboard itself and which two combinations are for the backlight of the keys and then two combination a different combination is for the actual side lamp as they call it for the rgb settings for that now trying to get to the different modes and change through those modes and then cycle through colors it's just way too much and imagine cycling through 18 different modes and then trying to pick a specific color it just sh it should be way easier than that come on it, it honestly should. Another con with this keyboard is the RGB that shines through the actual back of the keycaps. They're north facing, and then on top of that, there's actually a small slit for the RGB to shine through, but the actual RGB is just a tiny little dot that shines through the slit, so it doesn't disperse the RGB um, as vibrant as it should. But down at the bottom, the RGB is like a bar. 
on this keyboard and the light takes up that whole bar this other uh, the keyboard i'm reviewing right now there is that bar to allow that light to come through as a bar but in that bar the light is actually just coming through a circle like through a hole so it's just like poking through that bar and that's why this light is brighter because that whole bar is being used and not just like a small little hole to let the light leak through um with that being said my second con of this keyboard is something that i noticed when i took it straight out the box was the actual cable of the keyboard and i am definitely not a fan of this cable this cable just looks cheap it looks really outdated and old and it's not just the color i'm not talking about just being like the gray old color it it feels like it feels and looks like a cable like how it said it's compatible with windows like 2000 and, and stuff and xp and all that like i don't know if it's because of this price point it's not braided it's not detachable i don't understand why it's not even if it's only 50 dollars, it makes no sense to me um, but at this price point, I was expecting at least a braided cable. I could see a $10 keyboard, maybe up to a $20 keyboard, not being detachable and not having a braided cable. But even if you're gonna keep the cable plastic, why does, not, why does the cable not even match the keyboards? The white keyboard or the black keyboard, it still comes with a gray cable. Now, moving on to the pros of this keyboard. This keyboard, again, the switches are not hot swappable, but you are able to take the keycaps off and put your own custom keycaps on. Like I mentioned before, I wanted to do that with my wife's keyboard. So here are the keycaps that I used on my wife's keyboard. Here it is. These are the Demon Slayer Nezuko keycaps. I will put the AliExpress shop down, link down in the description, as well as the keycaps that I got personally for my own version of this keyboard down there as well, if you're interested in that. Just keep in mind that AliExpress usually takes a while to ship and get to you. So you might be waiting a couple weeks to a month, maybe even longer, just depends. All the keycaps fit perfectly. There's no problems or issues, at least the keycaps that I did get. Now the keycaps that come on the keyboard, I didn't like the texture of. Um, I like a smoother feel and these keycaps are a smoother feel. So that's just something that I prefer. And my wife, like I said, doesn't have a problem with it. But the keycaps that come on this keyboard stock have a little bit more texture on it. They're boasting it as being double shot keycaps again, but I just don't like a whole bunch of texture on my keycaps like that. Um, if you are interested in this keyboard, just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the keyboard goes, it is a full size keyboard. So you do get those extra media keys. Now, I know a lot of people like their own custom media keys or they like keyboards that actually have the stop, play, uh, volume, scroll, wheel and stuff like that on a keyboard. Unfortunately for this keyboard, you do not get that. But again, if you do plan on getting a full set of keycaps, and you don't mind not having that, then this keyboard obviously is gonna be able to fit those keycaps. And then on top of that, um, so you still get those media functions. So that's a plus to me, um, as far as being able to use and utilize all the keycaps that you are gonna get with your purchase. Again, that's just, I think, personal preference, which type of keyboard when it comes to full size do you want? Probably the best thing about this keyboard is the fact of how much RGB you get with the keyboard. Once you figure out all out though, through that con that I listed earlier, and the fact that you can put your custom keycaps on it. All right, so with all of that out the way, this has been the review of the RK918 full-size keyboard. If you want this keyboard for yourself, there will be an affiliate link down below to my kit shop that shows you everything that I use for my setup personally. And again, those are affiliate links and you will find this link to this keyboard down there as well. Now, if you're interested in a more custom keyboard that you can find on Amazon, I have a review of a keyboard coming up 
and I've done one of a 60% keyboard in the past that will be linked in the description as well on screen. If you're interested in my office tour setup, then it will be a link in the description to that video as well. And you can find that on screen. My name has been Squidhead Joe. Hope you guys have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And I'll see you guys in the next one.